Hey, once again, this is Vladimir Jean Philippe with Beast Selector Magazine with On the Rise. The conversation continues with Miss Fire. We apologize for the 28 minute delay. We had some technical issues, but I have her. Um, we have, we're on the clock, so we, you know, we're going to try to get as much information out of her as we can, and hopefully we can get something good out of this. And I want to first and foremost give a shout out to Sean Murdoch and Joseph Wenzel for putting this together. And we have Miss Fire on the show. What's going on with you today? Hey, what's up? What's good? Everything's all good. I can't complain. Life is great. You know, I see, you know, we all alive, we breathe, and we healthy. So. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. So <laughs> I'm trying to get everything squared away. But since we're on a limited time here, I just want to kind of get, you know, to know who you are a little bit and then, you know, try to go from there. So my first question to you, when I was doing some research, I found out that you are a Muslim and you grew up Muslim, I should say. And then I wanted to know how did that impact your music taste? And how does it like if it does impact you in any way uh, right now? <laughs> wow, that's deep. You did a lot of research. You did a whole lot yeah, of I did. Many of you. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of work on you. And I'm sorry that we don't have enough time, but you know, I wanted to get yeah. to this stuff. So go ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, growing up in a Muslim household, we weren't allowed to listen to hip hop. You know, that was the music, mm. forbidden music. So. Um, with that being said, I used to listen to a lot of him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, late night, I don't even know what station. I might have been like, maybe like eight when I discovered hip hop. Mm -hmm. And I used to stay up late at night, just listening to it play on the radio. At that time, it was like only one station. <laughs> and, okay. um, you know, I heard like a lot of dark type music, like Alchemist. As I got older, I started doing my little research and um he's one of my favorite producers so yeah um i love the hi hats you might hear a little bit of alchemist in my music you might hear those uh sneers knocking you might hear that uh -huh. um you know jermaine dupree um Chris cross you know with the backward pants okay you know, fan of that so you might hear a little bit of that so it's just like you know all the music from back then and all the stuff that I wasn't supposed to be listening to. <laughs> you know, you, you'll hear it now. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so since you were, you are allowed to listen to hip hop music, where do you see your music evolving towards now? Because I'm assuming when you started off, you had one particular sound and then mm -hmm. now you have probably something totally different. Where do you see your growth going uh, forward? Right. That That's a good question. It's a different question. I mean, I love working with a lot of different artists and that's one of the things that uh, I enjoy and makes hip hop and R&B and just music in general enjoyable for me where I'm able to explore different sounds. So with that being said, um, I'm open to any type of music, especially moving forward to wherever music takes me. Like I don't make music do anything. The music okay. takes me on the journey. For instance, um, I had a, a little, it's nothing little about it, <laughs> so I'm going to break it, but something fell in my lap recently where I was able to work with people who are in Denmark. Um, oh, wow, okay. Nordic LA, and they connected, you know, the, the premise of the organization is to connect people from LA to people in Denmark. I don't know how okay. I got involved. I'm in Jersey, so... You know. <laughs> With that being said, that's exactly what I mean. Like where I'm going with it, you know, I just want to make beautiful music that people like, dance to, have feelings and, you know, can feel the vibe. That's where I'm at with it, wherever the vibe takes us. Okay. So essentially what I'm hearing is you're not just limited to just hip hop. You're open to oh. almost any type of genre that's out there. Right. Like fusion is my thing. Like whatever sounds good to me. Let's fusion. Play. That's what that music was. Okay. I was trying to place the, like a name to your style of, of like beats and whatnot. And I couldn't place it, but right. you gave me the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's definitely a fusion of a lot of things. You'll hear some reggae <laughs> in the bass. You'll, you'll hear uh, a lot of different things where you're like, what genre do we place this in? It sounds good, <laughs> but where do we yeah. place this? <laughs> okay, yeah, because that's what I was getting when I was listening to your music and listening and doing a little bit of the research I was doing. I was mm -hmm. like, I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was specifically, but the fact that you said fusion, I was like, you know what? 
that's a good answer because that's that's what I'm getting. It's like a mix of everything, not just like hip hop, not just like dance hall or electric or you know other things like that. It's just like it's an eclectic collection, and then you just kind of worked it together to make your own sound, and I really like that. Thank you. Hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I wish, yeah, I, I did my research on it, and I wish we had more time, but uh, I want to get to this, roller skating, I dug deep yeah. into your Instagram, <laughs> do you still do it, do you yes. still do it, and how often do you do it? <laughs> Absolutely, I still skate, and that, that goes back to my childhood, and, and growing up in a Muslim household, where, you know, my daddy used to take us every weekend to the skate key up in the Bronx on Allerton, so, you know, again, very influential in my music because um, their sound system, I will never forget the best heard in my life. Okay. And I did my little shared clubbing, you know, as I got older, but there was nothing like the skate kid. <laughs> like you felt the bass on your skates. And yes, I still skate um, Mondays and Wednesdays out in Camden. I'm still out there. So uh, I'm getting my group. Okay. Yeah, I still skate back. <laughs> you know, I'm learning some tricks, but yeah. yeah okay, all right. <laughs> and then also, uh, before we uh, wrap this up, I noticed you played uh, the trumpet, and it's like your musical instrument, and you just got some new um, some new buttons for your trumpet. And oh. then as I dug a little deeper into your Instagram, I noticed you played for the banal, uh, the military Bonzo band group. Yeah. Um, what is it? The Bonzo Blues Band. There you go. And do you still play with them? And how did you get into that? Like, and how does that inspire your music today? <laughs> oh, man. So what happened was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? okay. There's a long story to it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll make a long story short. I mean, I, I moved from New York. I'm in New Jersey now. So, you know, moving mm -hmm. from uh, one city to another, specifically Jersey, there's not very much of a music scene happening like when you're new on the scene so um i use what i had like i have skills in you know live music so let's find myself a band i just want to stay doing music like i love music for real for real so if it's yeah. like, whatever it was it, it didn't have to be a studio i'll come to the, the concert hall <laughs> you know I'll okay. know. <laughs> well we, we can get it you know so yeah i play the trumpet um and the flugelhorn i think you could probably see it in my shot I have them hanging up. Yeah, there. I see the both right there. And then I see the one on the right is the one that's on your Instagram uh, photos, I'm assuming, correct? Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. That's the one that's on. You mind uh, just a yeah. little. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I enjoy that so thoroughly. It's been a, it is a big part of my life. It's what makes me happy. And just like anybody else, like even if you're not a, a instrumentalist or a beat maker, uh, as a consumer listening to music, you, you, you got to recognize that it puts you in moods, whether it's to bring you up or just to compliment the mood that you're in. Like, I still listen to 50 Cent's Many Men. <laughs> Wish that the hey, That's one of my favorite tracks as well, too. So like, I, I feel you on that one. I'll be mad as hell, speeding in the car. So, you know, is just having music in your life is a way to connect to other people's lives, you know? So like- That is very true. Yeah, I'm at a point where, you know, I wanna make music and it has to come out. You know, a lot of people, they put it out and they do it for fun or they make music, do it for fun and never put it out. Like we gotta get this stuff out. So, yeah. Okay, and with that being said, is there any music that you want to come out right now? Like what projects are you working on or anything like that? I got what you want to share with us? <laughs> I got a lot in the works right now. I mean, whether it's my instrumental, I'm going to put some beat CDs out because I know a lot of people, uh, again, they, they like to rap and they might do it in ciphers, but not necessarily want to put stuff out. So you want to rap for fun, I'll give you a beat tape. You know, so. Okay. Yeah, th that's coming very soon. Um, and as I mentioned before, I was working with um, some really popular artists in Denmark. So uh, we're going to get that project together. We're still working on that. Um, that's coming out very soon as well. I'll drop a couple of singles. And, you know, there's a couple other things in the works. Uh, at, as usual, you just want to stay consistent. And I will keep okay. it, you know, um, <laughs> Instagram, hashtag Miss Fire. Um, everywhere, just Google me. That's old. Google me, baby. Remember that? 
<laughs> nah, it's not old. It's still relevant. So it, it's one of those things that we can still say, and it's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. <laughs> it's okay, right? Yeah. Well, it, it's still kind of like a, 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 a dated term, but mm -hmm. it's still relevant today because you know you can't get rid of Google because Google yeah. is still the biggest search engine out there. So you can't really outdated you know yeah, what i'm saying right. like, you know tiana is always popping like tiana taylor like nothing she does is outdated mm -hmm. <laughs> Nah, she's really, she's really good. She's one of those, uh, hopefully one day when, if I get good enough, I can interview her as well. So that's, you know, I'm trying to climb the ladder, you know oh, what I mean? <laughs> right, definitely. Did, did you see um, her in Coming to America too? No, I did not see that movie yet. Oh. I, it's on my to watch list. So I'm, I'm, I'm a sticker for the old one. The first one, I know, I'm, I'm so sorry. But the first one has my heart because right. that was the absolute first movie I've ever watched in my entire life. That's it was coming to America with Eddie Murphy. So I can quote that movie left, right, and center, right? <laughs> but the second one, I'm kind of like, ah, sequels usually don't work too oh, good. No, this so it's not disappointing. I, don't know. I mean, it's like the movie, you got to level your expectations. I'll just say this. It is the comedy of today. It's not the same humor from okay. the eighties. This is like today's humor, and it will have you dying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really all right, so I, all right, I, I'll put that on my uh, to watch list because mm -hmm. it is on my to watch list. Watch and I move it up to number one. <laughs> I move it up to number one because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a nerd, right? So, Mar uh, Cap what is it? Falcon and Winter Soldier is like my to watch tonight. I'm Falcon a nerd. I love and my Winter comic books. Soldier. I got to write Yes, it. on Disney Plus. On oh, Disney Plus. Okay. It's a it's a it's a comic book thing. I grew up with comic books as, you know, I was grew up in this brick household, so comic books was my mm -hmm. you know, my escape. Like you have music to escape, yeah. mine was comic books, you know what I mean? Music. <laughs> my secret music. <hiccup. laughs> <laughs> well, your secret music. Yeah, you had to like hide the fact, but it's all good, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh I just want to and and wrap this up with this one. Um is there anybody you want to shout out to out there? Like, is there any artist you want to work with first and foremost? Who do you would like to work with? Who's your, like your the the epitome of person you want to work with? And then after that, we could wrap it up and then give some shout outs and whatnot. I feel like I need a moment to actually consider that because there's so <laughs> many people that I don't want to leave out because they you know people are like oh they say my name. You know? <laughs> no, yeah, I get you. I get you on that one. Shout out to Sean Murdoch, by the way. Yeah, shout out to Sean Murdoch. That's that's one. That's a good shout out. Yeah, we're working on something as well right now. Come to think about it. Hey. Um, but yeah, there, there's so many people and dope artists. Like one of the people that I really look up to that I love to death is T-Pain. And I love okay. his story. I love his voice with or without auto-tune. He's- He has a very amazing voice without auto-tune. Uh -huh. He won the uh, mass Singer yeah. on his original voice. So mm -hmm. yeah. he's a really good artist. So, I mean, he, he of course runs in his own circle. Uh, so, but that was <laughs> amazing for me just to be in the room. Everybody has the people they look up to, but yeah, I mean, wow. I can't believe that was the only thing that came to mind. <laughs> like, like, come on, Violet, come on, give me more. Um, really, SZA? Oh. Hmm. So is it like, could I put P. Diddy on there? Is P. Diddy on your list? Say it again. Is P. Diddy on your list? Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, I <laughs> bad boy record. I will neither confirm nor deny. That <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Ah, man, I wish I had more time because I would have prompted that question right oh, there. Oh, really? And I would have gotten an answer out. I would have gotten an answer out of you. I wish we had more time. And I'm so sorry for that. So oh, <laughs> I man, wish. you said P. Diddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, I don't know. You saying you need to confirm nor deny. And the way you acted <laughs> and then looking off body language, I'm I'm saying confirm. <laughs> All right. So Vladimir Jean Philippe on B Select the magazine is taking the leap forward and saying <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I, hey, I don't know. I, 
hey, I'm just, this is my opinion and my opinion alone. All right, so. <laughs> you have that. You, you can have that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I really appreciate you taking the time to come on here and talk to me and um, Beat Selected Magazine. I wish, I really wish we had more time, but due to technical, some BS right there. Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes let's be BS, schedule. Let's, you know. let's do something else. Maybe a follow-up another time. But um, All righty, yeah. I'll definitely send you a message uh, via Facebook on my personal page, and then I'll check with my uh, with my higher ups. <laughs> if okay. it's cool, and uh, and then I'll uh, shoot you a message and see what we can uh, no schedule. Because I'm having fun vibing with you right now. You you have like a very fun high vibe energy, oh, thanks. and you know I, I can feel that that you are you are you got some stories to tell. I just I gotta poke it out of you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know you got yeah. stories too. Like. Mm -hmm. Oh, trust me, I've grown up with uh, I've grown up with some interesting characters in my lifetime. So I have some stories. I don't know if it's safe for this magazine, <laughs> but I have some stories to share as well. So I will definitely be linking up with you to try to reschedule another uh, conversation so that we actually have some time to conversate and get to know each other once you know a little bit better. So that's that's on me. Well, I take that happy. responsibility. That's I really my appreciate bad. your time as well and for setting this up with Sean Murdoch. Um, shout out to Be Selective Magazine. Shout out to you, Vladimir. And, um... Hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. I shout out to you for sticking around through the difficult times we were having and actually giving us some interesting con conversation for that little time we have. Mm -hmm. And also, I want to give a shout out to Sean Murdoch for setting this up and giving me the opportunity to do this. And I also want to shout out to uh, Joseph Wenzel, the creator and boss of Be Selective Magazine. Oh, because without him... <laughs> Yeah, without him, none of this is possible. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he's the boss, man. You know what I'm saying? So I really give a shout out to him as well. But we did get some interesting conversation topics here in the short time that we had. Mm -hmm. I will be linking up with you to set up another, you know, interview later on so I can really poke at you a little bit because I got some really good questions. <laughs> I really did. I did my homework on you, bro. Trust me. I did my homework on you and I got some I questions. So I, I need some answers. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so fun. All right. Well, thank you. Thank again, you. I really appreciate you. it. Bye, everyone. Yep. See. You. Hey, I really appreciate you guys for Beat Selected Magazine. I'm Vladimir Jean Philippe. This is Mrs. Fire. Check her out on Instagram. Check her out on Facebook. She has some dope beats and it's really good. So, anything else you want to say before we dip out? Well, I think that's all, y'all. Follow me on Instagram. I'd love to see you and I'll follow you back and leave me messages. I answer back. And, uh, you know, hit me up. Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. No doubt. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>